Hello dear viewers of the channel Dunov's Motors and all the participants of the Sovel Mosh project. As always, I'm Alexander Sudriv and you're in our studio as usually. The fact is that many of you have been waiting for information about the hub motors, about what is happening to them, what work has been done, where the production is and why there hasn't been any information about them lately. But if you remember, Dmitry Dunov has repeatedly said in the program Expert Time that work on the hub motors is underway and that you will be the first ones to learn about the results of this work. And the day has come when we continue the tradition of talking about the results achieved and not about what we are to implement in the future. Currently, the specialists of Sovelmos have developed a new solution for mounting the hub motor. Previously, the standard methods were used, but today we are talking about a combined solution. This is integrating the suspension into the hub motor itself. Now the design will look like this. There will be a console part, it will be possible to adjust the suspension clearance, the unsprung weight will be significantly reduced, and by and large, a lot of advantages will be shown. But in order to implement all of this, we needed to develop a general design of the hub motor on the condition that it could be integrated into the suspension and not just integrated, but made a part of the suspension. It was also necessary to solve the problem related to the encoder. All of this has been implemented and now the solution is not only developed, but is also an intellectual property. And our leading specialist Yana Diplova will tell you a little more about this. She is also in our studio and she is not only engaged in testing induction electric motors and processing the obtained results, but is also directly related to the patenting line of work. And I think now she'll tell you in more detail what has been done. Yes, Sasha is right that the hub motor project has not stalled. The work is underway. In particular, the patent work is carried out in due course. And now we have news about the decision that Alexander has mentioned. The decision to grant a patent for the invention has been issued. Here it is in my hands and we can show it to you later. The conclusion and search report in particular. As a result of examining the application, it has been essentially established that the invention belongs to the scope of patent rights, meets the conditions of patentability and so on. The priority is set by the application submission date, i.e. as of April 21st, 2020. To make it clear, I will tell you that the patent priority for inventions, a production prototype of the useful model, is set by the date of filling the application. That is when your application is registered, it starts to get processed and then you potentially get the priority. If a decision about granting a patent is made, this patent becomes effective retroactively starting from the date of submitting your application. In other words, we have already paid the due tax and will obtain the patent and inform you about it for sure. Well, in fact, today we can say that the patent already exists, but it has not reached us yet. Yes, well, first we get a notification that we have received it, pay the due tax for registering the patent, issuing the patent as the procedure is described. The Federal Service for Intellectual Property of Russia must inform you about this, and then you are sent a patent which you then use, maintain, and if necessary commercialize, transfer rights to someone, in other words, handle it as a full-fledged document. Now we can say that we will have a patent for this solution, and possibly for the next one too. But it is still pending. Yana, a very interesting question that I think a lot of people are eager to get the answer to. This patent, the solution that is proposed in it, is it about a specific size of the hub motor or it is a general principle of applying and creating such a new suspension? In the description part, this is a general principle that can be applied to various dimensions because the dimension is not explicitly specified and in this case it will not be a significant feature. The essential feature is exactly what you have said. Connecting the power elements with the suspension and the hub motor. I mean, in fact, I can add that this scheme 
This design of the hub motor will enable using it not only for bicycles, motorcycles, cars, armored personnel carriers, and perhaps even some other heavyweight equipment. This is really a principle that will enable achieving very substantial results. And if you're interested in more detail of what we're talking about, please write your comments, we will try to tell you about it, perhaps even graphically demonstrate it and prepare some illustrations. We are waiting for the patent and continue working further. Wait for the news. Things will get more and more interesting. And I think that you should get used to the fact that specialists of Sobelmash talk about what has been completed and not about what is planned. See you soon.